Alright, there is no other way to begin this video other than just saying I showed my balls on stream, and this time, it was an accident. Now I know what you're probably thinking, Tibor, how the fuck could we possibly see something so microscopic? And, you know what, fellow viewer? Let me tell you about this thing called imagination. Have you ever heard of her? You dumb bitch. <laughs> now I hope you're comfortable because we are about to embark on my story of my balls and cock on the internet. So this whole dick lore started with this video right here. I attempted Left 4 Dead 2's hardest challenge. Now, this was the biggest video I've ever made. It was 57 minutes long and basically the whole goal of the video was, well, exactly what the title says. I attempted Left 4 Dead's hardest challenge. Now, naturally, with any hard challenge, I died a lot. Now, a lot doesn't even begin to describe how many times I died in that game. I mean, saying I died a lot is being pretty generous. But I take my gaming career very seriously, and it just so happens that I sometimes would get angry. And other times I would get sad. But every time I died in the game, I died a little on the inside. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Now this challenge took a few weeks to complete, and naturally, being a gamer like me, I decided to change my clothes once every three days. One of those days, I decided to wear these pajamas that I'm wearing now, while streaming. Now, these pajamas are nice and loose. You can do many activities in them, you can walk your dog, you could plan a violent overthrow of the government if you wanted to. Now you'll notice that I said pajamas, and I don't know about you fellow viewer, we're gonna keep this between you and me, okay? If you wear pajamas while sleeping, you're a fucking psychopath. So of course, I'm sitting at my desk, grinding away Left 4 Dead, dying like a bitch. Why the fuck would I ever need underwear, right? And you can probably see where this is going, my balls decided to make a guest appearance on my stream. So let's cue me dying for the 50th time, and this happened. Come on! God damn it! Now obviously, as I got up off my bed, sat down at my desk, I had realized that there was ball potential in my stream, and to my horror, I checked back on the footage. Oh my god. No fucking way. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to delete that VOD. Well, on the plus side, there's nobody here, nobody watching. <laughs> so thumbs up for having like five subscribers, I guess. I can't believe that my balls made an uh, internet debut before my ass did, but on the plus side, this will make a banger video. <laughs> Oh, God help me. Now, thank fucking God I'm irrelevant because nobody was watching my stream and I'm pretty sure I'll, that's the only time I will ever be grateful for that. And to be honest, I don't know how I'm gonna top that. How do I top a strip tease stream? You know, you guys have seen my balls. What what else is there? You know, you've kind of seen it all. I'm a one I'm a one trick pony. I don't have much going for me, but who knows, maybe one day I'll try topping that. So there you have it folks, my cock and ball story on the internet. I can tell you one thing for sure, that this isn't how I wanted to start my Pornhub debut, but from now on I'm announcing that I will be making a beautiful porn video to follow up this whole scenario here, I will be making my big debut. You know, I tried to think of a good name for it, and I really stuck with something that would represent art like Picasso did. So, you know, I went with the very simple but bold Dickasso.